Hi, my name is Kate and I'm in All About Teeth here at UCSF and today we're going to be talking about fluoride. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, otherwise known as CDC, names fluoride as one of the top 10 greatest public health achievements in the 20th century, alongside immunizations, family planning, tobacco control, and motor vehicle safety. What is fluoride and how is it as important as immunizations? That's what I'm going to be explaining next. Remember this table? Fluoride is a part of the halogen group in the periodic table. It plays a very important role in cavities, even the small ones. To understand why the CDC and almost every other health organization is praising fluoride so much, we must understand the basics of the tooth structure. A tooth is like a building. It has a frame and then it has materials that fill the frame. The frame of the tooth is organic proteins like collagen and others like enamelin. The filler part of the crystal is called apatite, made of calcium and phosphate. Different combinations of these proteins and crystals give us enamel and dentin. Let's talk about enamel. That is the outer part of your tooth that you can see and brush every day. Another important thing to realize is that teeth are dynamic. They're not just rocks that sit there. Every time we eat something acidic like an orange or sweet like candy, bacteria turn those into acid. The acid dissolves the apatite crystals that I mentioned earlier. But our saliva is filled with calcium and phosphate, so we quickly remineralize and build our tooth back up. Remember the frame I was talking about earlier? As long as that is not destroyed, we can always remineralize and rebuild our tooth back up. This is a natural process that happens every day in our mouth. This is why we brush and clean our mouths so that bacteria does not get a chance to destroy the frame of the tooth. Because once bacteria destroys the frame, there will be a hole there. And then that is what we call a cavity, which needs to be cleaned and surgically removed by a dentist. What fluoride does is it attaches to the apatite crystals and creates what's called fluoroapatite. Fluoroapatite is much more resistant to acid attacks, i.e. stronger than our normal crystals. So it does not dissolve easily when we eat acidic and sugary things. It also helps kill bacteria by inhibiting an enzyme called enolase, which bacteria use to digest sugar. Third, it helps remineralizing the tooth faster by attracting calcium and phosphate. So fluoride helps make our teeth much more resistant to acid, rebuild faster after being dissolved, and it helps fight off bacteria. By doing these three things, it helps our teeth be much more resistant to tooth decay. This explains why fluoride is a main component in virtually all toothpaste and mouth rinses. In fact, the California Dental Association, CDA, and the American Dental Association, the ADA, strongly support fluoride in our drinking water. This way, everyone will benefit. Many cities also fluoridate their water. However, research shows that a minimum of 0.7 ppm of fluoride is needed to get this benefit. Higher doses are more protective, but they also cause more harm. Because just like anything else, when you take too much of something, then side effects will start to show up. This is called the therapeutic index of a drug. Fluoride starts to cause fluorosis at 1.4 ppm, which is double the recommended dose. Research shows that communities with fluoridated water have less cavities in their teeth and need less treatment. According to a meta-analysis study, there was a 35% reduction in DMFT compared to the median control group. If you want to know if your city has fluoride in its water, simply go to the link in the description and click on your city and state to find out. Most states participate in water fluoridation. If your state is not one of them, then go to your city water company website to find out more. To summarize, fluoride discovery is as important as vaccines when it comes to the health of your teeth. And just like vaccines, major health groups are trying to make it as widespread as possible so everyone can get the benefits. I hope you learned something today. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below and we will try to answer them as fast as possible. If you have any suggestions for future videos and curious about something, let us know also in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to the video below. This is Kate from All About Teeth at UCSF. Stay happy and fossy.